Hey guys, I'm Joe Mitchell, Fisher Mission 2601 on YouTube, and today we're going to be discussing Bass Candy Delights, or known as BKDs. So here I have the 6 inch models and the 10 inch models. Today we're going to be discussing their rigging techniques and um, the best ways to fish them. Alright, so first we're going to start out with their standard jig head. Now I believe this is a half ounce um, shad head jig head. And you can see if you line these up, it doesn't look right. So what you want to do, take a razor blade, cut it so it's flat. Measure it first. So I'd say it's flat, or would be flush right about there. So I'll give that a nice cut. Nice clean edge cut. So now you have a clean edge, and when lined up properly, it'll be flush. So first find out where it's going to end out, or where the point's going to come out. Put a little dot in there with your hook. <clears throat> Put it in straight. Make sure that it's going to line up straight or in line with the center all the way down. Make sure it's going on straight as you go. Find that dot that you put in. Just pop it out. There you go. Nice and straight. Ready to fish. Alright, so next we're going to do a bucktail kind of setup here. This is a uh, has a silicone skirt to it, and it's uh, green in color, which matches this two-tone green BKD. Uh, I cut a little bit of the tip off so that way it kind of fits flush up against here, and there isn't so much uh, like pointiness on this. So, <clears throat> just slide it in. Same thing before you as before you want to line it up. See where the hook's gonna come out. Just slide it in. Poke that hook out. Just slide that up. There you go. Looks it gives a nice presentation in the water. Look at a like a Texas style rigging technique. A lot of freshwater guys would know what I mean by that, but simply you have a this is a 2 0 Gamagatsu inline worm hook. So put it in the front. I don't have to cut any of the front off. Push it in so the barb is just in there. Poke it at the bottom. Thread it or push it all the way down. Like that. See where the hook's going to come out. Push it. Come out the top. And then I have to adjust it a little bit. There you go. So we're going to do the same thing with the big 10 inch BKD. I have a much bigger hook here. <clears throat> this one. I want to measure it out a little bit. So put this in pretty far. And then poke it out. Find out where it's going to go. Poke it out at the top. Mm, there you go. You can do the same thing if you want it weedless. Just poke the top like that. We'll cut right through the weeds. All right, now we're going to look at wide gap hooks. These come in quarter ounce and I believe three eighths from the Bass Candy Delights website. I like these a lot better than the regular size gap hooks. Gives you that little bit of an edge for when the fish just aren't biting or just not hooking up. I find this helpful for a lot of weak fish. Um, <clears throat> you want to rig it the same way as the regular jig heads. I already have one here where it's cut, so it's even. So, same thing. Feed it through. Come out the top. Push it all the way around. It's not as far down as the... It's not as far down the plastic as the regular 6-inch ones, but a lot of times with the weak fish and the stripers, you'll hook up. So, 
It's one of my favorites, the wide gap. Sometimes I'll paint the head, but otherwise plain head works fine. This kind of setup is one I use more frequently for bass during the sandy run. Um, this is just a typical Alwife glitter 6 inch BKD. An A17 without the tube, but still the curved hook or whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> this one, I like to thread the BKD on and uh, it looks just like a sand eel. So, same procedure as before when rigging the jig heads, except you don't have to cut the front. Just thread it all the way on. This one goes on pretty far. Right at the top. Just push it on. So, once you get it on there, it looks kind of funny. But when it swims in the water, it gives it a real erratic, real erratic action when you jig it. So uh, instead of using the tubes, or if you have rotten tubes on your Avas, cut them off and just put a BKD on. Uh, I've caught plenty of bass on just one BKD, and uh, they're very strong, so they stay on for a while. The technique that we used earlier of rigging the 6-inch BKDs with the jig head is now going to apply to the 10-inch BKDs. I have a much bigger jig head. I believe this is a uh, one or one and a quarter ounce. So same thing. Line it up so it's flat. You can see right about there. Take my razor blade. One straight cut down. Cut it off. And that looks like it's going to line up okay. So measure where your hook's going to come out. So probably right in the middle here. Hook it. Push it all the way up. Get at the top. Just work it on there. And there you go. It's perfectly straight. <clears throat> All right. As you can see with the jig head style, the jig head only comes a couple inches down from the top. Uh, depending on what size fish you have in the area, they might just short strike it or hit it down here, and that's not, that's going to give you nothing but frustration. So this is a new technique that my dad and I came up with. It's the double rigging technique of the 10-inch BKDs. This is 80-pound mono crimped to the top of a 7-0 live bait strong hook. Same thing down here. So this gives it that little bit of an edge to hook those fish. The only drawback is that it isn't weighted, but we've caught plenty of fish this way. So thread the bottom one, doesn't matter which one you choose, but I'll go with this one as the bottom one. So thread this all the way in. All the way until it comes out that slit. You're going to want to pull all the way down. So now you have the mono coming out. Now, before you put that other one in, you want to thread this one all the way through. Or you want to thread it through and pop it out right before that slit at the bottom there. And push the, push the eye of the hook in. Then just pull this down through. and line this up. It's going to come out right about there. So bend it, goes in. Pull it out. There you go. One last thing I want to add. Um, my dad and I, we're big tuna fishermen offshore, and uh, a lot of the baits that tuna like are sand eels. So what better imitation of a sand eel than the BKD Alloy Glitter? Looks exactly like a sand eel. 
Um, <clears throat> these spreader, we made a custom BKD spreader bar that we like. On each side, there are four BKDs, and in the center, we have, I think it's six, six BKDs with a live bait hook at the bottom. <clears throat> this, act, this actually runs pretty well in the water. The plastics stay nice and straight on the bar. We usually run it off a flat line. But um, we've caught pelagics on it, false albacore. No tuna yet, but we haven't really effectively fished it for tuna yet, only on one trip. But it did catch a false albacore, and um, it got hit plenty of times. So just one thing to think of when rigging up your next spreader bar. All right, so that concludes our video on rigging BKDs. Uh, they're a very effective lure, and for more information or where to buy them, go to bkdlures.com. Um, I'm Joey Mitchell. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my channel for more fishing or instructional videos. Uh, comment below what you want to see, and uh, we'll see you out on the water. Good luck and be safe.